Good evening, I am Pradhani Nitha Kongjam giving you the evening news. First the headlines. Shri Bullet Griddle bodies found in Nogram Chenam Hills under Yaripok Police Station. Angry mob smashes Marathi Vane and Honda Activa used in kidnapping of a person at Lilong. Police get tough with young boys and girls on the last day of Yasun celebrations. Now the news in details. Three bullet riddle bodies were discovered by the police in the Nongram Chenam Log hilltop this morning. Villagers came to know about the bodies which were lying in the hills about 11 km from Yaripo Police Station today around 6.30 am and informed the police. According to police, they might have been killed on the night between March 1 and March 2 while they were sleeping. All the dead persons wore hunting boots and some clothes were found lying near them. They were shot in their heads. Yaripo police had deposited the bodies to the ribs morgue for identification. Locals of Lilong, Masa Marathi Van and a Honda Activa allegedly used in the kidnapping of a person. The incident happened last night after miscreants who came in a Marathi Van kidnapped a person, Mohammed Mina Hazuddin of Lilong, Horebi and Bilaikai, around 7.30 p.m. last night from a waiting set at Lilong, Logtara, Machin. After the news of the kidnapping spread, locals of Lilong reportedly checked every vehicle passed on the road. Later, the locals searched for the vehicle at Lilong, Sambukong area where a van was found at the residence of one Muhammad Islam Rahman. One sudden of the kidnapped persons was found inside the van. The angry mob dismantled the vehicle along with one Honda Activa which was parked along with it. Later, the owner of the house, Muhammad Islam Rahman and his wife were picked up by the red mob. Later, today morning, a public meeting was convened at Lilong Haurebi. Mohammed Islam Rahman, while confessing to the public, said Mohammed Mina Hazuddin was kidnapped by a group of persons, including his brother in law called Mohammed Amir Khan of Lilong Logtara Machin. During the meeting, a person claiming to be a member of KCP Tangyam Pokpi in a telephonic conversation on of the kidnapping of Mohammed Mina Hazuddin. However, he said Mohammed Mina was not the person they wanted to pick up, so they are ready to release him. He further urged the public to release the two persons they held. During the public meeting, even police personnel were restricted from entering the area. The Imphal police today decided to get tough on young boys and girls who came out to celebrate the last day of Yawsung since morning. Today being the last day of the festival, boys and girls in their teens and twenties were seen moving in large groups either on two-wheelers or in four-wheelers. Boys and girls threw water balloons to the passerby on the road in many parts of capital city. A team of police led by city police OCTSB today rounded off a large number of young boys and girls who were either riding two-wheelers without relevant documents or violating traffic regulations in the city. All of them were made to sit in the bazaar area by the police for some time before they were allowed to go. The police advised them not to violate traffic rules. Speaking to the ISTV News, O.C. Tazvir said the drive was launched to prevent accidents and loss of lives and to avoid inconveniences to the general public. State police force seems to be discriminated from those in the Central Security Forces after the implementation of the recommendations of the 13th Finance Commission as the latter enjoys six central pay. According to sources available with the ISTB, a sub-inspector in the Central Reserve Police Force enjoys a sum of Rs. 23,780, whereas the same post in the Manipur Police Department enjoys a sum of Rs. 13,128 only. The differences occurred after the implementations of six central pay for the central paramilitary forces while the state security forces get the fifth central pay. The sources further reveal that a CRPF constable gets a sum of Rs. 13,730 while the constable of Manipur Police Department enjoys a sum of Rs. 8,808 only. An inspector in the CRPF gets a salary of Rs. 24,380 while an inspector in the Manipur Police Department gets around Rs. 15,000. A security personnel in the state force who does not want to disclose his identity said the differences in the salary even though they perform same duty has demoralized them. He further said there is more risk on the life of the state police personnel than those in central paramilitary forces as they are actively engaged in counter-insurgency operations. 
Other sources available with the ISTV reveal that the recommended amount for implementation of the six pay commission under the 13 finance commission has been sanctioned to the state government. The highly placed sources further said the amount includes amounts for payment of their next allowance, arrears, salary and pension. Board of Secondary Education Manipur Chairperson Dr. W. Ibn Pisak has stated that preparations have been made for successful conduct of high school living certificate, new and old examinations. Speaking to the ISTV News today, W. Ibn Pisak appealed to the people of Manipur to extend full cooperation for smooth conduct of the examinations. The examinations for new course will be held from the 10th to 24th of this month. Altogether, 27,554 students are appearing. There will be 26 board centers and 59 private centers. See also told ISTV News that there will be two examinations for the old course. The first one will be held from the 26th of March till 5th of April, while the second one will be from the 26th of March till the 8th of April. The WMPSEC also convey her best wishes to all the students. Army Major Dimple has been court-martialed on charges of corruption. She has been sentenced to one year of rigorous imprisonment and dismissed from service. Major Dimple is the first woman army officer to be court-martialed. The proceedings were initiated against her in 2007. She was accused of abusing her position as a public servant by accepting a sum of Rs. 10,000 from the Defense Council in a court martial in which she was just advocate in November 2004. Major Dimple can appeal to the Army Commander or move the Armed Forces Tribunal. Twenty men who allegedly helped plan and carry out the Mumbai attacks, including several Laskar e Toiba operatives, figure among the 119 most wanted terrorists in Pakistan, but the list excludes top leaders of Pakistani Taliban and Jai Said Mohammed. The 20 men are wanted in connection with a case registered by the Federal Investigation Agency, FIA, and have been booked under provision of the Anti-Terrorism Act, Pakistan Penal Code and Cyber Crimes Law. Heading the list of 20 Pakistani nationals wanted for the Mumbai attacks in Mohammad Azmat Khan, a Sadawi Laskari Toiba organizer and facilitator based in Karachi. A mini marathon for boys and girls on the theme Run for Peace was organized by 4x8 Gorkha Rifles and Coordinations Committee of All Round Development. The race for boys was flagged off at Naikonkuno by commandant of 4x8 Gorkha Rifles, Colonel C. Kartik Sasadri. He also flagged off the marathon for girls at Bisnupur Bajar. At least 300 boys and girls participated in the mini marathon. A large number of people encouraged the runners on the roadsides throughout the course of the race. Jagat T. Dharmendra and Muhammad Iqbal Hussain begged the first, second and third positions respectively in the boys' group. El Bijasori, T. H. Nanao and H. Sunita stood first, second and third respectively in the girls. Colonel Kartik Sasadri said the Gorkha Rifles will organize such marathons in the future to encourage the young boys and girls and to promote sports in Manipur. Sports and any constructive uh, activities and uh, not pay attention to all the violent activities that the UGs are wanting them to do. This will go a long way in bringing peace and prosperity to Manipur. Before we end the news, the headlines once more. Three bullet bridal bodies found in Nogram Chanam Hills under Yaripo police station. Angry mob smashes Marzi van and Honda Activa used in kidnapping of a person at Lilo. Police get tough with young boys and girls on the last day of Yasun celebrations. That's all we have in this evening news. See you tomorrow at the same time.